How's everybody doing? As most of you probably do not know, um, I was in a service. Uh, I spent two years in Germany and I actually was involved in the first Gulf War. I got there shortly at the beginning, uh, right at the very beginning of, of September of when the entire conflict started, when the buildup and everything started. Spent my 22nd birthday there. And today I'd like to share with you this. And what this is, is that these are all the letters and cards and everything else that I received while I was participating in Desert Storm and Desert Shield. Um, I've kept these since 90 and early 91 for a couple different reasons. One, um, it, it means a lot to me. Probably the most important reason why I've kept them is that that people took time out of their lives, out of their day, to write to someone that they didn't even know and just to say thank you or good job or hope you come home soon. But it just reminds me and it gives me pause and gives me thanks that, um, that no matter what your belief is, is that you can take time for a guy who's half a world away doing his job. I mean, when you sign up for the military and you swear to defend this country against all enemies, foreign and domestic, you know, your job is sometimes to do things that that most people on a normal everyday basis can't even begin to understand. And it's conflicting, even for yourself, that sometimes you don't necessarily believe in what you're doing, you don't know if you're doing the right thing, but, it, and you hear stuff, and you'll, you'll hear comments from other people, and you'll see newscasts, and you'll do all this kind of stuff, and, and you'll wonder, but then you'll get a letter, or you'll help a little kid when you're over there, or you'll stop something terrible from happening. And then you think that maybe it's worth it. I have no idea what what anybody's political beliefs are about the war. And I have my own. And that's not what this is about. This is my just saying thanks to people uh, 15 years later saying thank you. Here's uh, some of the names of some of the people that wrote to me. People that I, I tried to, when I came home, I, I tried to visit as many many people as possible that wrote to me. Sometimes it wasn't just completely possible, but I did. Roxanne Claudie, um, Charlene Payton, Malcolm Brownlee, Marilyn Wessler, um, Jill Fitro, this lady named Nancy, Bobby Crawford, Sue Ryan, William Schaefer, Etha Cloud, uh, this woman named, this other woman named uh, Nancy, Pamela Janowalski, um, and there's d literally dozens more. Uh, one of the neatest things that I, I've still got is that these are letters from first grade students at the um, Cincinnati Hills Christian Academy that wrote to me. Um, these students have graduated now probably um heck they may some of them may even be in afghanistan and iraq right now um i mean it was just a whole slew of different letters dear heath my name is stephanie and i'm in third grade oh this is in third grade um dear heath we're having a real fun at school today poor kid having fun at school Dear Heath, my name is Billy. I hope you get some friends. Do you like animals? <laughs> uh, dear Heath, I am in CHCA. We are doing research papering in Miss Vandergram. Language arts class. Dear Heath, we are doing research papers. Dear Heath, I am praying for you. I hope you come back... <coughs> I hope you come back to the USA. This little girl um, sent her picture in as well. <laughs> Do 
You know, it's also kind of funny. Another reason why that um, this kind of means something to me, and I'm going to wrap up here real quick. But um, this right here is the first card I received from a, a woman named Glenna Van Adder. And um, she's a woman I ended up marrying. Never met her, never knew her. But uh, this April 15th that are, that's coming up is actually the first time that I ever met her. 15 years ago on April 15th, uh, it's the first time I ever met the woman that would eventually become my wife. Well, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up, and I just want to say to everyone that um, if you're writing or talking or communicating to someone over in Iraq and Saudi Arabia, uh, Iraq or, or Afghanistan right now, I want to say thank you, and I want to say that, that it means something to the people over there. It means something to the soldiers. It does. And for those of you that have family or friends like I myself do, over over there. I hope they come home safe. And if you've lost someone, I can always say that, that I'm sorry. I wish I could do something more. You know, our servicemen and women, it's a thankless job. It really is. I just hope they all come home soon.